Yo, 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 what's goody guys? J Pluto here. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. I mean, I've been working on some things. Been trying to figure out a way how, I mean, I can do my part in adding content, valuable content, I mean, for artists and producers and small businesses as well. I mean, that's not like what everybody else is doing because everything is like saturated right now. So, I mean, I came up with this idea to share my knowledge I have on graphic design as far as like music wise and that type of vibe or that industry and just like build on that and see where we can go with it. All right, so with this first one is basically a walkthrough on one of the uh, one of the graphics I have in my, uh, well, one of the templates I have in my new graphics pack. Make sure you cop that. I mean, if you don't have it, I mean, you could definitely follow along to learn how to make these type of graphics. I mean, with that being said, I mean, we just gonna jump right into it. All right, so just to start out, I mean, my background is just a plain, regular black back, not black background. I mean, it really doesn't do anything, but um, let's just start blank. All right, so this is my background. Basically, um, if you're looking for a background, all you gotta do, and I mean, go on Google, type in something like urban dark background. It brings up a whole bunch of different backgrounds, I mean, that you could possibly use. I mean, some of these look crazy, some of them dope. A cheat code that I can hit you guys with is to go in here into tools and hit size and go to large size. So it increases your chances of picking a picture that ha already has a large pixel size. You wanna make sure that, I mean, what you're bringing in is high quality. So you wanna, one, if you get downloaded, make sure you download it, I mean, or use the copy and paste method. Drop that thing in there. I mean, I still gotta stretch it out some, but it's all Gucci. I mean, so just stretch it out. All right, it's still pretty good, high quality. All right, and basically what I'll do, I'll go here into image, go to adjustments. First thing I do is start off with some hue and saturation. Now, there's much more advanced and complex ways to go about this, which would give you more hands-on, I mean, more control and stuff like that. But for right now, I just wanna give you the basic overview on how to make type these type of graphics for cover arts. So basically with the saturation to make things colder or warmer, pretty much. So if you're going for like a colder effect, you wanna bring this knob down, this parameter down to the left, not me. I don't really mess with the light, uh, lightness in here. I use something else, but um, another thing that I use in here, obviously, is the hue of color. I mean, you can change up the color of it. Um, so go back into image, adjustments, levels, and with levels, I mean, you can make it darker. It's a little different with this type of image that I'm using as, as opposed to the image that I use, but you get the idea. So this is my image. That's how I went about making this image darker. And I mean, I went through the same process. I mean, I, we can even make it a little bit more darker. I mean. Next, we have our zombies. I mean, that's what the zombies look like all together. Uh, so basically what I went what I went and did is I brought in one zombie. And the way you gotta look at it is as if it's like a camera. I mean, so you wanna you wanna try to get the depth right. The depth, I mean the dynamics of the picture. You wanna make sure that all of that is being thought about while you're making this graphic. So look at this, this box as your uh your camera. So anything close to the camera is going to be bigger. Anything further away from the camera is going to be smaller. So this zombie is like a regular zombie size guy that I got. And I got this next zombie that's closer. So I made him a little bit bigger. I mean, just go ahead to T, Command T. I mean, make him as much bigger as you want. I mean, or you can have him extremely big. The closer he, the bigger he is, the closer he's gonna look to the camera. I mean, that's how I look at it. Next, you have some more zombies throwing in. He's a little further back. So right now, his position doesn't matter because he's there's something that the object or the subject is gonna be in front of him. So I'm not too worried about his body, the way his body is. It's gonna make sense at the end. So I got this other guy in the cut and this other zombie right here. 
I mean, so the trick on what you want to do when you're looking for different objects and subjects is to add PNG at the end of what you're looking for. So if I was looking for zombies, put in zombies, PNG. And then what you want to do is actually download the PNG file. You don't want to copy and paste. You want to download and get the high quality file and use that. Or you can cut it out. I mean, use the uh, mask mass method any other methods there's different type of ways to go about it i mean but the easiest way is to go look for a png image i mean basically png is a transparent image there's no background image so you just drop that thing in there and you good to go with i mean high quality images so we're going to jump right into the next one the next element we have is the clouds i mean that's what the clouds look like all together um going through them one by one we have our top cloud, I mean, same thing. Just went to Google Clouds, I mean, it brings up a whole realm of clouds, different types of clouds, ominous. Ominous clouds, dark. I mean, and you have a plethora of clouds. Now, what you can definitely do, you can definitely sign up for subscription joints, I mean, I got a couple that I use. I mean, it's just good to have it handy. So, Bell, we got our clouds, our top cloud, my second cloud, lightning. Also, like, you could bring this down a little bit just to blend it in a little bit more opacity. And I got it on overlay. The clouds, I got these on normal. Let's see what these look like on overlay. I might put these on overlay. Yeah, it's too, I ain't like the darkness of it. All right, that's cool. But yeah, you get the idea. You can mess around with it a little bit, blend it in a little bit more. And then lastly, I got some birds in there in the back. So once again, like I had said before, look at it like like it's a camera. So these, these birds are further away from the front of the camera. We're gonna jump into the text, um, turn the text on, and that's what the text looks like. I mean, you got your artist name, and artist name, bow, and the heading, the title. Now what you can do, you can go in here, double click it, and you can add some layer styles on it, and it'll make it look really cool. Like you can add some drop shadow in it. I mean, add the distance, play around with it a little bit, change the color of it if you want to, give it kind of like a glow. Throw the outer glow on it, change that. Just not mean get creative with it. I want you guys to like use this as like a starting point for like creating graphics. I mean, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You don't have to keep it exactly how it is. I mean, I wouldn't highly suggest that, but I would suggest that you customize this as much as you can. And this way you can learn how to make certain types of graphics. I mean, you, you, you can have an idea for it. Like you have to start with an idea. Like a lot of things is improv and freestyle, but you have to have some type of game plan. And that's how I go about making graphics. I come up with an idea, how I'm gonna go about it, how it's gonna look, thinking about the camera views and stuff like that. Like it really helps make better graphics. You can also go in here and change the color of it if you want to. Let's say we wanted to go with that bow. We got our artist name. Throw that back up there. We got some effects up here. We got a drop shadow and a um, color overlay that made it black. Um, the next thing that we have, well, these paint drips for us for the text. I mean, so if you was to do something like that, you would just kind of like put them together and then, or you can just add the same effects on them. I mean, so for this point, being that I changed how I have the text, I kind of like it like that. It's cool. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, we're going to throw the subject in. So before when I said it would make sense, this is what the make sense is. I mean, so all those people, all those zombies in the back, how their bodies was misconstrued and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter because this subject is going to be in front of them. I mean, so we're adding another layer of depth into this um, into this graphic. And um, a lot of things 
that you can do is like pretty much endless i mean it's up to you uh one thing that i'll do i'll go in here to adjustments hue and saturation i mean once again if i wanted to make it look colder i'll bring it down to the left if i wanted to make him look more warmer give him more body and his color tone more body and stuff like that i mean i'll hit it over to the right also going here to levels I mean, give him some more darkness. The black's more darkness. All right. You can also, another cool thing you can do is um, go up in here to camera raw filter. So this is basically some effects that I applied to this image to get it like this. All right, so you got a few things in here that you can mess with. Exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows. I mean, just go in here and just, I mean, mess around with it. Exposure makes it brighter, contrast. More texture. Clarity. Vibrance, more saturation. Details, now sharper. Makes the image look sharper, and I mean, it gives it more of a sharper look, but you don't want to OD with it. Noise reduction is basically smooth, it's make it more smoother. So it makes it look more cartoony, kind of. And color noise reduction, I usually just bring this up to the middle just to like give it a little bit more of a balance. Um, And also another effect I use is grain. I'm not gonna use it for this one but you throw some grain on it to give it a, a, a older feel. Next, we got the overlays. This first one is a grunge overlay. Next one, and then the next one. All right, so the secret real quick is just overlays. Overlays is what gives your graphics more textures and stuff like that. So grunge overlay. I mean, well, if you wanted to go with like a paper texture, so paper texture overlay. I'm just gonna use this for an example. All right, so that's 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 why you don't wanna use small images because when you extend it out or you blow it up, it's gonna give, it's gonna look blurry and stuff like that. So just for an example wise, just go in here to overlay and it kind of gives the texture a little bit more. You can go through different ones and it, it'll give a different effect. So I gotta take one of these off so you can see. All right, so now you can see more of it here. You see the paper texture. So if I wanted to do that, I probably have to bring this to the top. Even still, that's a little. So basically you would just have to work it in and try to, or use a black uh, texture, black texture, joint, paper texture. I mean, you could do different effects. That one's cool, linear burn. All right, wow. All right, and I got a couple more effects, elements that I use. Right here is the splatter. I got two splatters, one at the top and one at the bottom. Uh, my parental sticker and the last layer is the rain and this just brings it ties it all together I mean like it's, it's raining outside it's thundering there's crows flying around there's zombies chasing after this dude I mean it, it, it comes it all comes together I mean so you have to look at it as like a composition this layer is basically giving me adjustments these two layers are my adjustment layers and it's allowing me to make it darker or lighter. All right, pretty straightforward. And this one is to change the color if you wanted to. So you can make it any color. And once again, with the saturation, remember when I said, go to the left, it makes it cold. It gives it that colder look. I think that's cool, I mean. And that's, that's that's pretty much how you make these type of graphics. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, like I said, you, you just got to, before you start, just think about what you want to do. Like, you got to have that idea in mind and then just try to execute it. Figure out how you're going to execute it and execute it. 
I mean, so I hope you got some value out of this. I hope this helps you out with your graphic designs. And I mean, definitely check back for more videos. I got some more coming. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Check me out. I guess that's it. Till next time, man. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs>